Welcome back students. I am your geography teacher Vandana Joshi and you are watching SST Zone. So students, today uh, we are going to start our third unit that is landform. Uh, in this unit we will cover three chapters. So our the first chapter from this unit it is minerals and rocks. There are two more chapters in this unit. These are landforms and their evolution and as well as the third chapter is the geomorphic process. So today students we are going uh, to start uh, the first chapter of this unit that is minerals and rocks. So let's see uh, which topic we will cover today in this unit. So students as you can see uh, this chapter is telling us about the minerals and rocks. So first of all, we will see what are the minerals in which today we will cover these three topics. So in this, the first topic is introduction in which we will see what is mineral and how it is formed. Second, we will see the second topic important minerals and their characteristics. So in which uh, we will see uh, the, uh, how many minerals are there which are important and what are their characteristics. Okay, and the third one is the types of minerals in which we will see the uh, student as we have already studied there are main two types of minerals these are metallic and non-metallic so uh, in the third topic we will see these two types okay so uh, let's see our first topic that is introduction of the chapter as well as the what are the minerals. Uh, so students what are the minerals so let's see uh, the element in the earth's crust which are rarely found exclusively but are usually combined with other elements to make various substance and their substance are known as minerals so uh, what we can say uh, as a proper definition of minerals that minerals the mineral is a naturally occurring homogeneous solid. It is a homogeneous solid. That is an inorganic substance having an orderly atomic structure and a definite chemical composition. Okay. So here what we can see that minerals are usually solid. They are in structure they are solid have a crystal uh, structure these are inorganic and formed naturally means no artificial uh, formation is there these are formed naturally by geological process these are formed by the geological process the study of mineral is called mineralogy okay uh, as you have studied in uh, your first chapter geography as a discipline there are many types of studies so same like that the study of mineral is known as the mineralogy okay so uh, a mineral can be made of single chemical element and more usually a compound so what we can say so uh, simply what we can say that mineral can be in a uh, single form or it can be in the compound form okay so uh, there are uh, students there are already uh, at least 2000 minerals that have been named and identified in the earth's crust okay so uh, what is the basic source of mineral the basic source of all minerals is the hot magma in the interior of the earth uh, as you uh, know that there are major three layers of the earth crust mantle and the core so uh, the source of all mineral is this uh, core where the, it is the deep inside of the earth and there uh, we can found the molten magma it is the main source of the all the minerals okay so uh, coal petroleum and the natural gases these also we are uh, finding in that but uh, these are uh, the organic minerals because we are uh, getting them from the fossil okay uh, so other minerals are inorganic substance and the coal petroleum and natural gases are the organic minerals okay
सो स्टूडेंट्स एज आई टोल्ड यू ऑल द मिनरल्स विच वी आर गैटिंग दीज वी फाउंड इन साइड ऑफ अवर अर्थ इन द थ्री लेयर्स ऑफ द अर्थ सो हाउ इट कैन बी पॉसिबल इट इज़ पॉसिबल बिकॉज इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द कंपोजिशन ऑफ द अर्थ द अर्थ इज कम्पोज ऑफ वेरियस काइंड ऑफ एलिमेंट देर आर मैनी एलिमेंट्स बट द दीज आर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू कैटेगरीज दैट इज मेजर एंड द माइनर कैटेगरीज सो द मेजर एलिमेंट्स आर देयर देर आर एट मेजर एलिमेंट्स सो स्टूडेंट्स हेयर इज अ टेबल इन विच यू कैन सी द मेजर एलिमेंट्स दोज आर द मेजर पार्ट ऑफ अवर अर्थ क्रस्ट एंड होल द इंटीरियर ऑफ द अर्थ सो दीज आर First of all, there is oxygen. Uh, by weight, its percentage is forty six point six zero. Second is silicon. Its percentage is twenty seven point seven two. Then aluminium. Its percentage is eight point one three. Then iron. Percentage five point zero zero. Calcium. Percentage three point six three. Then sodium. Sodium's percentage is two point eight three. Then potassium, its percentage is two point five nine, and at last that is magnesium, its percentage is two point zero nine. So these eight are the uh, major elements, and rest of the uh, minerals, those are the others. Uh, their percentage is one point four one. Okay, so that is clear. The major elements of the Earth's crust and the minors are uh, only one point four one percent. Among all eight, the uh, means uh, the most important element is oxygen and silicon. Okay, that is clear. So now let's see, students, what are the physical characteristics of uh, the minerals? So students, now let's see the physical characteristics of minerals. so first characteristic of mineral is external crystal form the crystal form of a mineral is a set of faces that have a definite geometric relationship to one another the internal arrangement of molecules cube octahedrons hexagonal and prism after minerals are formed they have a tendency to split or break along definite weakness this property is called cleavage minerals may have 1 2 3 4 or 6 directions of cleavage these cleavage forms are cubic prismatic etc minerals that break easily along these lines of weakness heal shiny surface the third characteristic is fractures internal molecular arrangements is so complex that there are no planes of molecules the crystal will break in an irregular manner not along planes of cleavage next characteristic of the minerals is luster appearance of a mineral without regard to color each mineral has a distinctive luster like metallic silky glossy shiny pearly etc and the next is color some minerals have characteristics color determined by their molecular structure and some minerals are colored by impurities next is streak color of the ground powder of any mineral it may be of the same color as the mineral or may differ malachite is green and gives green streak fluorite is purple or green but gives a white streak transparency of the mineral structure hardness and specific gravities are some other characteristics of the minerals so students there were 10 characteristics of minerals which you have seen now we will see our next topic that is types of minerals 
that students already you know there are two major types of minerals these are metallic minerals and as well as the non metallic minerals so uh, first we will talk about the metallic minerals why we are saying them metallic and non metallic actually students those uh, minerals are containing a amount of metal they are known as the metallic minerals as well as the non metallic minerals they do not contain any kind of metal so uh, let's see first metallic minerals students generally we are dividing the metallic minerals into three parts first is precious metals like gold copper and the second is ferrous metals uh, the ferrous metals the which metals or which minerals are containing a amount of iron they are known as the ferrous minerals as uh, the scientific uh, chemical name is uh, uh, ferrous it is a chemical name of iron so uh, it is known as the ferrous metal and then third is c is it is non ferrous metals uh, the metals which do not contain any amount of iron or ferrous they are known as the non ferrous metals like copper zinc and others okay so let's see one by one what are the metallic and the non metallic minerals so students what are the metallic minerals minerals from which we get metals like iron copper gold silver lead aluminum tin etc are known as metallic minerals these minerals have to be extract from the ore in which they are present along with some other metals metallic minerals have luster and shine these are conductors of heat and electricity these may be converted into thin wire or sheet after beating as they are ductile in nature metallic minerals can be classified into three types precious metals ferrous metals and the non ferrous metal precious metals are known as gold silver platinum etc the ferrous minerals uh, ferrous metals the iron and other metals often mixed with iron to form various kind of steel and the non ferrous metals uh, include metals like copper lead zinc tin aluminum etc and the non metallic minerals which do not contain metals are known as non metallic minerals coal petroleum nitrate potash mica gypsum are some of the non metallic minerals these are scattered on beating they are not lustrous and cannot be converted into thin sheet or wire students here here i am providing you a list uh, of important minerals which we found on the earth's crust first important mineral which we found on the crust is feldspar feldspar is the name given to a group of minerals these minerals are known as alumina and silica also we call them cl quartz is the most abundant mineral found at earth's surface and its unique properties make it one of the most useful natural substance next important uh, mineral is pyroxene pyroxene consists of calcium aluminum magnesium iron and silica pyroxene form 10% of the earth's crust it is commonly found in meteorites it is green or black in color it is moderately resistant to weathering and poorly used in industry mica is the next important uh, mineral of our earth's crust it comprises potassium aluminum magnesium iron silica etc it forms 4% of the earth's crust it is commonly found in igneous and metamorphic rocks it is used in electrical instruments next is olivine 
magnesium iron and silica are major elements of olivine it is resistant to weathering but susceptible to metamorphism it is used in jewelry it is usually a greenish crystal often found in basaltic rocks so students here uh, the first part of the chapter minerals and rocks the mineral part is complete uh, we will uh, know about the rocks in our second part so for that keep watching ssd june